working on a new flux and I think I'm going to try something different with this one. I am going to go for for a uh, wider read. So normally I go a specific distance that the end of the read sticks at the end of the frame and I work from there. I'm going to make that a lot longer this time now that I am comfortable that I can remove a bit of material at the end of the trigger later if I need to. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try going with a thicker read and we're going to see how that sounds. Here's where I'm at. I trimmed the end of the reed off. No turning back now. I've identified the area that I'm going to sharpen. And for now, I've also done the finish on the frame. I think I'm going to leave it steel colored this time. No heat coloring. I may do that for the reed still though. Anyway, but I'm going to start off by just filing the edges down. It's a good place to start. And then I'm going to take the grinder, I think, and put a separate taper just on the portion that will become the trigger. Tonight's progress wasn't too much. Last night I got the uh, ground finish on the reed and uh, did the extra taper on the trigger end. And then tonight I decided to give it a little bit of heat coloring and I have been honing the edge. And that's it for tonight, I think. But it's coming along. I'm excited for how this one's going to come out. All right. Excuse the sounds of children playing in the street. My garage door is open, letting in some nice natural sunlight. And uh, I finally have a chance, after working some late days through the weekend, to work on my latest surge pro uh, flux project. And what I've done since, uh, I think, is um, I've honed the edges of the reed. Um, it's been sharpened, again, double-edged, like a knife. And I've put the reed channel in. And I've cut the relief cuts on an angle. And this worked out really well on my last surge one. And it helped just fold the crimp over real nice. So I'm going to try that. Um, we're going to see what happens here. I'm pretty happy with it so far. And uh, I'm going to go for the crimp. This is, uh, I've decided I, I want my reed to go up right to this point. And again, it's not totally snug like I was hoping. But I've had success by just placing it and crimping. So we're going to do that. We'll see how that goes. Okay, I'm excited for this one. I got the crimp done. Crimp seems to be pretty secure. I got the gaps pretty much adjusted and I think it's coming along pretty good. I haven't even done the trigger yet. Listen to a sound. So let's bend the trigger. Okay, we are going to bend this trigger. I like to bend mine the opposite of what is traditionally the direction of a trigger. I'm gonna bend it so that it is in the same direction as the bottom side of the harp, really. So it's in the opposite direction of the crimp. And the idea is that the reed is being pressed, instead of the force being on the crimp, maybe loosening off the crimp, I don't know. Uh, I just feel like it's a more stable or a more, I don't know, a stronger face for the reed to be primarily plucked against. And I want, I like my harps to be for outward, outward plucking, which is the way I like to play. So that's the reason behind that. And I'm going to bend the trigger upwards. What I'm gonna do is clamp it on this piece of wood. Got my torch. Get her started. And nice little set of jeweler's pliers. And there we go. burn myself there a little bit. I'm done.
Not a bad shape. All right, we'll let it cool down, see how it sounds. Really long trigger, but we'll see. Still warm. All right, here we go. That trigger's too long, I think. I'm gonna trim that down. All right, here it is. Decent job on the crimp. Happy with the coloring on the reed. Overall, happy with the finish and the alignment of the frame. Shortened the trigger right down. Gave it my usual teardrop kind of leaning trigger. It's a bit shorter. And I shaped it and tuned it to G sharp. Here's how she sounds. This is the latest of the Flux series. This would be Flux number two, I guess. Pretty good. I'm happy with it. Let's get her coconut oiled up. And uh, I'll play her for a little while. And then you never know. This one might find its way on some sort of website.